Hey guys, how's it going? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a possible ca uh, crash of 2.0. So, uh, this is a warning. I, I honestly believe that, you know, this is not 100%. Nothing in the market is 100%. But I believe that we could be heading for a stock market crash 2.0. I think that the market can make it all the way back to its 52 week low. Here are my reasons why I believe that the stock market can make it back down to its 52 week low. Number one, if we look at the chart itself, if we look at the MACD itself, it's curved, it's broken, and it's falling right now. So I believe that the market is going to have a small correction and we are going to make it back to new 52 week low. But again, you know, there could be some news propped out uh, by the Fed or Donald Trump and the stock market can go, ex go do the exact opposite and go all the way back up again and make new 52 week, uh, 50 week, new 52 week high in the summertime. But I don't think that's going to happen. And here are my reasons. Number one, uh, uh, we, we're having a shutdown 2.0 right now, where uh, where the economy that where the United States is reopening and the basically uh, it's starting to be shut down again. So some some cities or some states in the United States is getting shut down again because virus cases are spiking. So that's number one. Number two is earnings is coming up very, very soon here. Like earnings for uh, for quarter two and everyone expects Q2 earnings to be completely be terrible and that's what's causing a second drop in the markets. And number three is uh, there's another piece of news that's going around regarding like uh, India getting shut down right now. They're, they're locking down India and the rest of the world spy uh, cases are spiking for the coronavirus, which is another possibility of why crash three. Uh, that's why uh, crash 2.0 is coming. But I, I bet you anything as soon as we get near this 52 week low of 222. I think that's where the spy is heading uh, in probably the next, I will say next month, by the end of July, I think we will hit about, we will hit these new lows of 222, so we're going to hit another 52 week low by July, and then after that, Donald Trump's going to come out with some kind of news or some kind of policy, and back up we go. And then we'll have a W. Uh, instead of a V, we'll have a W. That's what I think will happen by around October. And then October, we're going to have another sell-off. Because the, we're going to be heading into the election cycle. At least that's what I think is going to happen. I, I don't know. We're going to go into the election cycle. And we're going to go back down again. So around October, we're gonna go. We're gonna do the exact opposite. We're gonna head all the way back down to its 52-week low because of the official second wave of the coronavirus, or maybe the third wave of the coronavirus, uh, and the mi uh, midterm elections and horrible earnings in October. That's what I think would happen. I don't know for sure. This is just me being a guru. But anyways, the market right now is. The hell? No, I think that's wrong. I don't think it's green right now. Uh, but you know that's why I don't. Th yeah, okay, it's not green. It's red. We're down six hundred and twenty-seven points. I think. Be a bear. Any any green day rallies could be an opportunity to be buying put options. Uh, I still don't think it's going to be like a straight red all the way down. I think it's gonna be. One red day, one green day, one red day, one green day, and then once we hit a certain point, Jim Cramer's gonna be like, "Oh, the stock market is gonna crash," you know, some or some kind of scenario like that. But right now, I think we're heading for a second 2.0 crash. But again, I could be wrong. This is just me predicting from just looking at the charts and the fundamentals of the economy and everything else, even if. 
you know, the Fed is trying to prop it up. Maybe they want it. Maybe they want it to crash. Maybe they want to, you know, want it to go down, uh, so they can prop it back up, so a lot of people can make a lot of money. Because you make a lot of money on the way down, you make a lot of money on the way up. So that's what the uh, Fed want to do. They want to bring the market down so a lot of people can make money, a lot of bears can make money, and then prop the market back up so then a lot of bulls can make money too. So that's why I think it's going to happen. I could be wrong. This is just me making a short term prediction. So yeah, Tesla this morning is 920. Um, probably going to buy a put option on it. I'm just waiting for the right time because Tesla, you can make a lot of money if you if the stock market is actually crashing and you know Tesla is crashing too. GameStop this morning, GameStop is down 4%. Not too much to say about that. I think GameStop is probably going to slightly recover. Uh, when pre-orders for the PlayStation uh, and Xbox come out, I think we're going to be popping back to around 5 bucks again. But the pre-orders anyways. AMD this morning is down $0.67. Cents. I think AMD is heading lower. I also think NVIDIA is heading lower. If we just look at the chart of AMD, it's starting to look like it's breaking a little bit. So, you know, it's starting to go down. So, and then NVIDIA is probably the same thing. It looks like it's starting to head down. No, yeah, it's starting to downtrend. Shop is surprising this morning. Shop is heading back to its 52 week high. Which is makes no sense, but that's the the way the market works right now. Uh, Nikola Motors, Nikola Motors down this morning five percent. Uh, Nordic American Tankers this morning is down. Wow, twenty one point nine six percent. That's pretty but ugly. Beyond Meat is down this morning one dollar and forty three cents. Not too bad. Aurora, ooh, that is heavy. Down 55 cents this morning. Uh, Canopy, Canopy's not doing too bad this morning. Only down 43 cents, which is kind of shocking to me. Aurora's down big. Could be, Aurora could be a short-term buying opportunity where it's going to bounce back for a little bit. But again, could be wrong. We'll see what happens. I like I wouldn't be I wouldn't long Aurora, but I would definitely like my opinion only short term play for a bounce because it will probably bounce from here again. I could be wrong, and this is not financial advice, but that's what I think could happen in the short term. Canopy I think is going to head down lower slowly over time because that's what's doing it now. Uh, Kron is probably heading down lower. Uh, Afria is probably going to head down lower, but we'll see if the market goes down. Afria will go down with it. Tilray this morning is down 48 cents, uh, 5.7 percent. Tilray is heading down lower. Hexo is under pressure this morning because the rest of the MJ market is under pressure. Sundial Growers is also heading down lower this morning. Now let's look at some of the multi-state operators. Harvest Health this morning down four cents. Again, I still think that's going lower. Kira, ooh, look at Kira. Looks cheap, but I think it's gonna head long lower. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. We, I think we could see a fifty-two week low of three dollars and ninety-four cents on Kira. True E this morning is down. 30 cents, but it's starting to bounce back. Liberal Health Science this morning is down a penny. Uh, Ianthus is down 3 cents this morning. Medman is neutral. Um, Vero, Vero Health this morning is up 5 cents. That's shocking. Uh, slang, slang is down a penny this morning. What else is down this morning? Um, 
What what else I I can't think of anything right now. Let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin this morning. Woo! Bitcoin taking a huge hit this morning. Oh, is it taking a huge hit? Oh yeah, it's taking a hit this morning. Down a little bit, and I bet you anything high blockchain technology is down. Yep, down two point five cents this morning. Thirty. 2.32 cents this morning. ABX uh, gold, gold, uh, uh, Barracks gold is down this morning. 84 cents. ABX. Uh, not officially trading, but I am at a loss on ABX. So, uh, I think ABX is could head down lower. Uh, gold this morning is down 1.53%, which is kind of strange because usually gold does the exact opposite of the market. When the market goes down, gold goes up, but today the market is down and gold is down. Everything is just selling off. Not, you know, the best, the best position is cash. It doesn't matter, like, oh, I guess either you're shorting the market with TVIX or, you know, you, you just, I don't know. Uh, but it's falling and it's probably gonna head down lower. See what GameStop, yeah, GameStop is heading down lower. The Royal bounced back just like I can predict it. Canopy is starting to bounce back, but I didn't predict that. Uh, Tesla is b bouncing back, but I'm definitely gonna be camping a put option on this. Anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.